Hey SKC friends and family, today we're gonna to be talking about the intensity list challenge and how to actually complete this at home. So there are 10 different exercises that we have our students complete outside of the karate school. So this is a great way for your student to work on their physical fitness and practicing their skill sets, not only on the mat, but off the mats at home. Parents, you could even join in with them as they do this. So we're gonna talk about all the different exercises, but this challenge should be completed at least two out of the three days of the week at home. So this list should be completed at least three out of the seven days of the week at home. So my personal recommendation is doing it on the days that you don't take karate class. So we're gonna start with the first exercise. Mr. Waters is gonna demonstrate for us today, which are gonna be the push-ups. So Mr. Waters is gonna be in a push-up position and his hands are gonna be shoulder width apart. His feet are gonna be together behind. Parents, you can even count this out for your kids. So he's gonna go as low as he can without falling on the ground and then he's gonna push his body back off the ground. Watch one more time. So he goes down low and he pushes back up. That's the first one. Depending on what rank you are, depends on how many repetitions you do. Now let's talk about the next exercise, which are leg lifts. So Mr. Waters is gonna be in a seated position. His hands are behind him, his feet are together and he's going to point his toes down. He's gonna hover his feet above the mat. He's gonna lift his legs up. When he goes back down, they are not going to touch the mat. They're gonna stay hovering above the ground. He's gonna be going up and down, doing as many repetitions depending on what level he actually is. And the next exercise are squats. So Mr. Waters is gonna have his feet shoulder width apart. It's important that his feet are in line, that his toes are not turned out and his toes are not turned in. So he has his feet in line with his body. He's going to cross his arms and put his hands on his shoulders. He is going to squat all the way down, sitting in the chair, bending his knees at a 90 degree angle and coming all the way back up. So if we're going a little bit faster, he's squatting and he's coming back up. That's the third exercise. The next thing that's on this intensity list are the actual martial arts moves for your student or yourself to practice at home. So Mr. Waters is gonna be in his guard position. The next two moves on here are the front kicks and the back leg front kicks. So if he's in his guard position and his left foot is in front right now, the front kick is gonna be with his left leg. So he's gonna lean back, pick up his knee and kick with the ball of his foot. He's gonna do all the different repetitions depending on what rank he actually is. The next one is the back leg front kick where he's gonna be kicking with the right leg. This is a power kick. So he's going all the way through his target and then he's resetting right back down to his guard position. After the front kicks and the back leg front kicks, now we're gonna move on to the round kicks. So with the round kicks, one of the things that he's gonna have to do is turn his body. He's gonna have to pivot to make sure he's in the proper position. Once he's here, he's gonna pick up his knee and his foot sideways, points his toes whenever he kicks all the way out and comes back down. Watch one more time. So he turns, he chambers, he kicks, and he comes back down. Those are the round kicks. The next kick is very similar. It's called a back leg round kick. So with this kick, he's gonna use his right leg. So he's gonna have to turn his front foot kick and put his foot down in front of him. This is one of the most powerful kicks that we have in martial arts called the back leg round kick. After the round kicks and the back leg round kicks, now we have the side kick. This kick is going to the body. So he's going to turn his body, he's going to chamber and he's gonna strike with his heel. Watch one more time. So he turns and he kicks, that's the side kick. Now we move on to our punches. So the first punching combination that he's gonna perform is a jab cross set. So a jab cross set equals one. So he's gonna do his jab cross, that's one. He does it again, that's two. He does it again, that's three. And the last punching combination is gonna be his back fist and his body punch. So with the back fist, he's gonna reach with his left hand, he's gonna squat, punch with his right hand to the body. Faster, back fist and the body punch. And those are all the different moves that's a part of the intensity list. Now, if you read this intensity list, if you are a beginner student, so that means you are a white through a blue belt, you should do 10 of each move of each exercise. If you're intermediate, green through advanced purple, it goes up to 15. And if you're an advanced student or a black belt, which means you're a brown belt or higher, you should be doing 25 of each and every exercise. Once you complete this for four weeks, you can turn it into your instructor and receive an orange intensity stripe on your belt for completing the intensity list challenge. We also do a monthly drawing for this challenge as well, where you can be entered in to win a $25 SKC shop gift card that you can use for yourself or for your student here at SKC. If you have any questions on how to complete this intensity list, Come see your instructor at your next class.